Hey guys, Wes here. Thanks for watching my first YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the flat serve. So it's not a kick serve, it's not a slice, this is a flat serve. So if you look at the very beginning here, uh, everything looks good. Um, I'm happy with this whole point up until about here. Um, the only thing I would change is the grip. So you can tell here that you're using a uh, forehand grip. Right, and what you want to do for the serve is you want to use a continental grip. So continental grip is, imagine that you're uh, hammering uh, a nail into a wall. Right? So you want to hold the, the racket so that the, uh, you're nailing the, the, uh, the nail uh, from the edge of the racket. Right? So from that point, everything's okay. What I would like is uh, after you toss your ball, See how your arm, the tossing arm, it's this is as far as it, as it goes, right? And then uh, and then it kind of goes down. So what I want to see is I want to see your arm go up and stay up after the toss, and you're only going to lower it once you start your swing. Okay, so that's one change that I would make. Um, I like the fact that you're not using your legs to launch the ball. A lot of people, when they toss it. They use their legs to toss it, and then they jump into the ball again, but you don't do that, so that's uh, that's perfect. Um, for the toss, uh, if you were, let's see, uh, let's go right to contact. If you were to draw a line straight from the contact point up, then you would see that you're pretty much in line with the baseline. right? So what you want to do on the serve is you want to actually make contact with the ball slightly in front, right? So your contact point would be there, right? But uh, a little bit higher up. So that's, uh, that's one thing to keep in mind as well. Now, what, uh, what you want to do as well is you want to turn your torso, okay? So after, you're, when you're in the ready position and you're tossing the ball, your body should be going around okay almost uh, facing the back fence I know it sounds funny but what you want to do is create as much kinetic energy as possible so imagine like a, a coil right you want to coil and then you want to uncoil into the shot right so that's what we're looking to do uh, you should be uh, able to balance the balls on your strings from this point which I like I mean I like this arm here to be a little bit higher but other than that, uh, I like the fact that you can actually balance a ball right right on the strings here, if you if you were to put a ball there. So that's the that's uh, that's a good stance to have right there. Um, I also like the fact that uh, right here your elbow is back. Right, a lot of people though they don't they don't have that elbow back. They have it kind of in front and they're doing kind of like a doggy paddle. So you don't want to do that. So what you're doing there is is good. Now this is a, a key point. Once the ball is up, right, we're we're looking to instead of bringing your racket back like where it is right now, right? You don't want to bring it back there. You want to bring it up towards your head and around. So imagine you were wearing, um, uh, for instance, like a, a a birthday hat, right? If you're wearing a birthday hat and you know, one of those hats with the string. If you were to uh, bring your racket around, and, right back here, you would knock your birthday hat off, right from front to back, and that's the effect that you want because you want your racket to go behind you, so that you can create that swing. So right now it's just going kind of like, you know, towards back of your head and then out, but you want that racket to be able to come all the way from down here and launch that surf. Okay, so that's one main thing that you're, you're going to want to see. Um, when you are launching into the surf, I want to see a little bit more of the knee bend. <clears throat> so if you're watching the knees, there's not too much knee bend into the surf. Uh, by doing that knee bend, <clears throat> you'll add kilometers uh, an hour to your surf, and, that, and that's what you want. Now, just prior to contact, okay, what you're going to want to do is see how your, uh, your strings are facing forward, right? They're facing the, the fence this way. 
you don't want that. What you want is because we're going to be holding the continental grip, right? The the um, it's going to be like uh, like we said before the hammer, like you're hammering a, a nail into a wall, right? So it's going to be the reverse. The the strings are actually going to be facing us, okay? And so just at the last second, just as you're making contact, that's when the racket is going to turn, okay? So that's called pronation, right? When the racket turns into the ball, that's going to also add power to your serve. The other parts of, uh, of your stroke are, are good though. I like the fact that um, after contact, see how your right foot goes up? That shows that you put your body weight into the shot, so that's great. Um, if you look at the contact point here, um, it was right in the center of the racket, so that's perfect as well, and it's at the top of your range.